Hello, my name is Richard Kent. I want to talk to you today about the miraculous world we live in and specifically about atoms. You've heard about at atoms and I've, I want to show you this picture of an atom and what they look like. Basically, you have a central nucleus, which is a proton and a neutron, and uh, electrons whizzing around the atom. Now, the important thing to realize is that the electrons are negatively charged. The uh, neutron has no charge at all, but the proton is positively charged. So the electrons are negatively charged, uh, and the protons are positively charged. Now, those those two electrical charges attract, a bit like a magnet. If you put a north uh, pole and a south pole of a magnet together, they attract, and the, mag the two separate magnets will come together. It's exactly the same with electric forces. If you have opposite electric forces, um, a negative and a positively charged, uh, a, le a negative electron, and a positively charged proton, they should very rapidly come together, but they don't. Now, in the universe, there are 10 with 77,000, sorry, 10 with 77 million uh, atoms in the universe. And they should all implode, but they don't. Why don't they? Well, scientists have never really understood it but actually we're told in Scripture why they don't. In he Hebrews 1, verse 3, it says, All things are held together by the word of his command. I'll say it again. All things are held together by the word of his command. Quite literally, Jesus Christ has given a command that electrons will not be attracted to protons so that the atomic structure of all atoms implodes. Now that command will be removed at some stage and we're told in 2 Peter 3 that the whole, the whole universe will dissolve in fire. Now I don't know exactly how the physics of that works but I suspect part of it is that God simply removes the word of his command. So, you may have heard me before saying everything is supernatural. Truly, everything is supernatural. We're made of a hundred trillion cells and each individual cell has, has millions of atoms. Each of those atoms has negatively, negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons, which should attract to each each other to each other and therefore the atomic structure implode, but they don't. They don't because God has commanded that they shouldn't. Everything is totally supernatural. There is nothing natural. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. He created every living thing, all of the atoms, and there is, is his sign on all atoms that they are all of them totally supernatural because they are actually contradicting the laws of natural physics. Thank you for listening and God bless you.